Sir John Pringle, first baronet, PRS, the 10th of April 1707 to the 18th of January 1782, was a British physician who has been called the father of military medicine. Although Ambroise Paré and Jonathan Letterman have also been accorded this sobriquet. Topic: Biography. Topic: Youth and early career. John Pringle was the youngest son of Sir John Pringle, second baronet of Stitchell, Roxburghshire, 1662 to 1721, by his spouse Magdalen D. December 1739, daughter of Sir Gilbert Elliot, 3rd Baronet, of Stobbs. He was educated at St Andrews, at Edinburgh, and at Leiden. In 1730 he graduated with a degree of Doctor of Physic at the last named university, where he was an intimate friend of Gerard van Sweeten and Albrecht von Haller. He settled in Edinburgh at first as a physician, but between 1733 and 1744 was also Professor of Moral Philosophy at Edinburgh University. In 1742 he became physician to the Earl of Stair, then commanding the British Army in Flanders. About the time of the Battle of Dettingen in Bavaria in June 1743, when the British army was encamped at Aschaffenburg, Pringle, through the Earl of Stair, brought about an agreement with the Marshal of Noailles, the French commander, that military hospitals on both sides be considered as neutral, immune sanctuaries for the sick and wounded, and should be mutually protected. The International Red Cross, as constituted by the modern Geneva Conventions, developed from this conception and agreement. In 1744, he was appointed by the Duke of Cumberland Physician General to the forces in the Low Countries. In 1749, having settled in a smart house in Pall Mall, London, he was made physician in ordinary to the Duke of Cumberland. On 1 April 1752 he married Charlotte D. December 1753 second daughter of Dr. William Oliver 1695-1764 of Bath, the inventor of Bath Oliver biscuits, but they had no issue. In 1760, he wrote an appreciation of the life of General James Wolfe. On the 5th of June 1766, John Pringle was created a baronet, and in 1774 he was appointed physician to His Majesty King George III. He was also a frequent travelling companion to Benjamin Franklin. The successful London bookseller Andrew Miller noted Pringle and Franklin as dinner guests at his home. <laughs> <laughs> Academia His first book, Observations on the Nature and Cure of Hospital and Jail Fevers, was published in 1750, and in the same year he contributed to the Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society three papers on experiments on septic and antiseptic substances, which gained him the Copley Medal. Two years later he published his important work, Observations on the Diseases of the Army in Camp and Garrison, which entitles him to be regarded as the founder of modern military medicine. In November 1772 he was elected President of the Royal Society, a position he held until 1778. In this capacity he delivered six discourses, which were afterwards collected into a single volume 1783. In 1735, Pringle became a Fellow of the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh. Pringle was a regular correspondent and friend of James Burnett, Lord Monboddo, the Scottish philosopher. 
Monbodo was an important thinker in pre-evolutionary theory, and some scholars actually credit him with the concept of evolution, however, Monbodo was also quite eccentric, which was one reason for Monbodo's not receiving credit for the evolution concepts. It was in a letter to Pringle in 1773 that Monbodo revealed he did not really hold to a belief of men being born with tails, which was the chief point of his ridicule. At the age of 73, he went, briefly, to Edinburgh in 1780, but returned to London in September 1781, and died in the following year. Legacy There is a monument to Pringle in Westminster Abbey, executed by Joseph Nollikens. At Sir John's death his baronetcy became extinct. After a legal case in 2004, the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh was able to open the Pringle papers it holds to the public. Topic. See also Plan Pringle Pringle Baronets <laughs>